Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So from today's video, we are going to see Django forms and also I am gonna implement Django crispy forms with Bootstrap 5. Okay. And uh, I am very sorry because I was not able to upload video from what uh, six to seven days. And uh, yeah, I am actually busy with my personal work and I will be regular within one or two months. Okay, but still I will upload video, but it will take one or two days. So please have patience. Okay, now in today's video, we are just gonna configure the project and many beginners are still confused while configuring the Django project at starting. Okay, so I will show each and everything step by step in this video. So yeah, let's jump into computer screen and start coding. So here I'm on my computer screen and I have connected WSL Ubuntu. Now here I'm just gonna write command mkdir and uh, I will just create the folder which will be Django underscore forms underscore tutorials and I will hit enter. Now I will just cd into that uh, folder and I will say code dot. Now I will close this window and maximize this one. Okay. Now here first I will create virtual environment. So I will say virtual env and I'll say env and hit enter. Now the environment has been created as you can see the folder over here. Now I'll activate it. So I'll say source env bin and activate. Hit enter. Now once you see the name of your environment over here which is env in my case that means your environment has been created. Okay. Now I will install the django so i'll say pip install django now i will also install crispy forms so i'll just go to the browser now here i'll say django crispy forms go to installation and now just copy this command and hit enter again okay now once that is installed i'll just say django hyphen admin start project and the project name is going to be django underscore forms just to ignore the error i am writing this dude okay and i'll make space and write the dot and hit enter okay the project is also now created now i will say python manage.py start app and the app name is going to be main mm, yeah okay now we are going to create multiple databases as we proceed to this tutorial we are going to add new field to a particular database or we are going to create a different database okay so we will write database code as we proceed in this tutorial but yeah the code will be written in this manage.py file now i have created virtual environment activated installed django in the virtual environment and i have created the project using command django hyphen admin start project and the project name okay and then i have created the app with the command python manage.py start app and the app name you can give any app it depends on you now what i'm gonna do is i'll just create urls.py file in the main folder which is our app folder okay now why i'm creating urls.py file separately because I don't want to mess up all the URLs in this particular folder. Like I want each and every URL different. I don't want to mix it. Okay. So if you create multiple apps, like let's say I have this one app in my folder. Okay. In my project actually. And if I create account to manage the users. And then I, if I create e-commerce app to manage all the e-commerce thing. 
then it will be you know whole bunch of list very long list and it will be hard to identify uh, that uh, from where the particular url is coming right so we will differentiate that okay so here i'll just create urls.py file now i'll just grab this code now see here we don't want this admin part so we'll just remove that we also don't want this one so we'll remove that too now here we can just import from dot import views okay now here let's write a simple view so i'll say def home request and here i'll say return render and here we can say request and here we can write h1 hello close h1 by the way render function can render the html code so let's go to the okay not render sorry 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 we need to import http request so i from django dot http import http response now this http response will be passed over here we don't need this request here now yeah now it can render this html code okay so once you write this line you can just write path path i'll just write blank single quotation you can also write double quotation that depends on you okay so if you leave this double quotation or single quotation blank then it will consider as a home url okay now i want this home function to be home i mean the home page that's why i am writing the blank uh single quotation now i can say views dot uh, home and i will say name equals to home now once this is done you can just go to the urs.py file which is in project based directory and we can just include the package which is known as include only but before that let me show you what if you don't want to create the urls.py file over here but you want to directly import the urls over here then how you can import that then you can just simply write from main main import views and here you can directly say path and just copy this one i'll just to make things faster i'll just copy and paste that url over here now it is gonna work perfectly fine just let's run the server but before that i need to go to settings.py file and here in the installed app we need to include the name of our app keep in mind no matter how many apps you create 10 20 25 etc all names should be included over here otherwise django is not gonna recognize that particular app okay and or whatever algorithm you have wrote in that particular app will be not run okay so, so just keep in mind so whenever you create app just write that particular app name over here and you will be fine okay now that being said i'll just go to terminal and i'll say python many.py migrate okay so i need to write comma over here let's run the command again okay migration has been done and i'll say python many.py run server run server okay. now i press ctrl and click on this url you can see the home has been rendered okay so i hope you got idea about uh, setting up the project now let's go to the app folder which is main and here i'll click 
right click and we'll create new file which will be forms or form.py i am writing forms in a plural okay hit enter now close this file just create and close it we don't need to do any extra things okay so now we have set up our project but we still need to set up the crispy forms so just go to browser now here we need to add crispy forms in the app then what else let's go down we need to add this template pack and here we can simply write bootstrap 5 i guess no let be uniforms or we can change it from here let's say bootstrap 5 yeah bootstrap 5 copy this pip command go to the terminal break the server paste that command hit enter and copy this crispy underscore bootstrap 5 and paste that below this one and here we need to copy these both lines and paste that over here so our project is now ready okay now whenever we will create the template at that time we need to just include bootstrap 5 css in our template okay so let me explain template settings too all right now see if you wish you can create templates folder in the app itself okay it will work and if you wish that you want to create only one template folder and inside that i will create the subfolders with the name of our app and i will divide it i will divide the templates according to the apps okay so let's say i am creating new folder over here templates okay now i will create one base.html just to inherit and reduce the code of the html so i will say base dot html and i will create folder which will be main now inside this main folder i will create all the templates which i have linked to the main app and after when i create new app let's say for example accounts then all the templates related to accounts for example registration login all email verification etc will be created in the accounts folder okay so we can manage templates like this and there will be no confusion in that okay so i hope you got idea about this one. so i'll just create home.html okay and i'll say h1 home done i'm not gonna do any fancy things over here now and i'll go to views.py over here I'll remove this HTTP response because we are not going to use that. I'll say render, write request and here I'll say main slash home dot HTML. Okay. Now when you create templates folder at the root folder where the manage.py file is present, at that time you need to go to settings and here inside the templates list you need to just write templates over here templates in single or double quotation so do it like this okay now it will work but let me show you the error so i'll just run the server Okay, now I'll just refresh. You can see template does not exist. Okay, but if I do control Z over here, and I'll just run the server again. Port is already in use. Okay, let me do one thing. I'll say 5000. Now you can see the template is visible. And uh, yeah. I hope you got idea about this one and this is very easy 
and these are very easy steps to configure the Django project and trust me this is one time configuration for your project and after that each and every process each and every views are very easy okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and in next video we are gonna start with forms so yeah see you there